So friends, welcome back. This is Saurabh Parikh again, your host for today on this great ProDap series from ProThoughts. I am going to continue my session that I left last time in the second series. This particular topic I am going to talk about is earn value management as usual in the third part. In case you have missed those first and second topics or first and second part of the video or this series, please ensure that you go back to my previous videos and watch. This is where we left last time, where I explained the concept of earn value. I explained the concept of what happens when your work done is only 75%. You are over budgeted by 25% or absolute 250 number and you are behind schedule by 250 or 25%. What's next? Now, how do we interpret this further? So, the simple rule of thumb tells me that yes, if you are screwed up in your schedule and screwed up in your budget as well, it's not either or, it's this and that, then you know what, you are royally screwed up. But that's the first thing. Now, the number 25% looks pretty small number. But, think about this, this is only one month. The same thing goes for next month, and the same thing goes for the next month, till the end of the project, what happens? Think about it. What will your sponsor of the project and other stakeholders will think about this project? Unless you really come back very strongly and control your cost and schedule which you are lagging behind here in second month. That means you will have to work very hard, extra smart to get behind schedule to on target in terms of your schedule and cost both and probably in the last month you might want to square it up with ahead of schedule and below the budget. Is that possible? Nothing is impossible friends. Nothing is impossible. That's quite possible and we have done this. We have done this in many many projects where we have we had below budget sorry over budget and behind schedule and we turned around the table to below budget and, be, uh, and ahead of schedule. So let me go back and give you a three interesting aspect of this earned value. When you talk about this three values of plan value, earned value and actual cost, right? There's something called as Schedule variance because as I say, you are already behind schedule. So how much is a variance from plan? So your schedule variance is nothing but earned value minus plan value. Your earned value in this case is 750, your plan value is 1000, so your schedule variance is minus 250. Right? The second variance in your project control is cost variance. As I said, you're already over budget. You're screwed up on your money part. So how do I find that variance? Simple. Cost variance is equal to earned value, the value earned, minus actual expenditure or actual cost. In our example, this is 750 and actual cost is 1000. So your cost variance is minus 250. Again, your 25% behind schedule, 25% behind budget. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it as a number to this, 250, 250. And I'm going to put up a, some kind of a relative measure these are absolute numbers. So when I talk about relative measure, I always talk about 
something called schedule performance index which is nothing but earned value divided by planned value which will give you a comparative measure in terms of how are you doing in your project on schedule. Your SPI is nothing but 0 0.75, 750 by 1000. And the second factor here is called CPI, which is cost performance index, which is your relative measure, which tells you how effectively are you using your resources. And in this case, you are only 75% effective utilizing your resources. Do you understand? And the biggest interesting thing I'm going to show you here is when you multiply these two numbers, your schedule performance index and cost performance index, both, what do you get? You get a square of 0.75 which is 0.5625. Do you realize this in practical world? When you have multiplied these two lagging figures, the multiplication just brought to you, brought you to half. Think through this integrated performance. I leave this to you for a while to think over what is the further implication of this integrated performance on the project and on your company. Thank you. Don't forget to like this video. You can comment and share this video as well and share uh, and subscribe your YouTube channel for more videos. So till the next time, thank you very much and goodbye from Saurabh.